G'day guys, today I want to show you a roulette strategy that will flip the table on its head. Basically the way that this system works is it's kind of similar to some of my other strategies like the enhanced Romanovsky, except it's got a couple different little things about it to try and hopefully make it a bit more profitable and maybe just a little bit better for you guys. So I'll show you the basics of the technique and I'll get straight into it and I won't waste your time. Basically the way that you want to play this technique is you want to place four corner bets. So for me, because I'm starting with $300 down here, as you can see, I'm going to place one corner bet here, one corner bet here, one corner bet here, one corner bet here, and then I double it and chuck it on this column. Now you can see why I call this the table, because this is essentially your two table legs, and then this is the top of the table there. So what this means is that if any one of these hit, we're actually going to win $90. And since this bet cost us 60 bucks, it means we're going to walk away with a, with a profit of $30. Whereas if any of these column numbers hit up here, what that is going to do is that's going to essentially give us our money back so that we don't make any losses. So it's only on these eight numbers in the middle here that we actually face any losses. So I'm going to go with these $10 bets. You can do $1 bets or, you know, if you wanted to do $5 bets, you could put $5 bets there and then 10 bucks up in there. But you basically put one unit on those four corners and then double it and chuck it up there. So we're going to go for our first spin and we'll see how we go. Cross our fingers. And there we go. So we hit the top of the table. And now this is why I call it the flip the table on its head. Because what happens is when I hit that top column, I then bring the table head down or the top of the table down to the bottom column. And then I put my bets up on these top corners, essentially flipping the table every time that it lands on top. So what that means is in, in my head at least is because we know we hit that top column it makes it it seems to be less likely that we'll hit that top column again or the odds of hitting the col top column twice is incredibly low. So hopefully with these we're more likely to hit one of the other two columns meaning that at worst case scenario we're going to make our money back but if it does come up to that top column or the middle column then we're more than likely to make our money. So I'm going to go with this bet and we'll see how we go. And come on, boom, there we go. We hit one of our legs. So you can see from that, we actually managed to win 90 bucks. So I'll chuck a little profit counter up here somewhere as I do normally. So you guys can sort of keep track of the profit with me. But I'm going to do a couple of these spins. And as it happens, I'll show you a couple more tips. So because we didn't hit the top of the table, we're going to stay with those table legs upside down. We got our bet there. And what we're going to do is we're going to bet and go again and cross our fingers and hopefully we'll hit the one of the legs again. Boom, we hit that far leg. Beautiful. So there we are. Now we're up 60 bucks. So even if we were to lose at this point, we actually wouldn't be down any profit. Oops, misaligned my legs there. I'm like the worst carpenter you've ever seen, but I don't know, hopefully a rich carpenter. <laughs> there we go unfortunately now i'm not a rich carpenter because we hit the middle of those eight numbers so when that happens generally what i can do so what i like to do is you can bring the legs of the table in if you feel like that's going to be more towards the center so i'll show you what i mean what you can do is you can bring the table legs in so that it's i don't know it's more like a more like a bar stool or something so that you know it's only this top one and then these outside two aren't covered so we're going to go with this one and we'll see how we go boom there we go so that's a perfect example of what i mean if you feel like it's just going to start being more middle that's when you should move those legs in towards the middle another option that you can do in order to like sort of make it make it seem more, a bit more fair is now that we've hit that leg the next leg that we place we actually make sure that we avoid that that corner bet that we placed last time because the chances of it hitting the same corner twice in a row is incredibly slim. Oops, I forgot to do the table head. Oh no, oh no. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway because we hit that outside. So that's probably a good thing I didn't do the table head, but that's, that's just me trying to talk to the camera and explain the system at the same time. It, it does get a little bit hard. So we're down 10 bucks. So I'm going to go back to my outside table legs. I feel like actually we should flip the table over. It's about time. No, no point being under the table when we could be on top of it. So there we go. We're going to give this one a go. And 
Boom, we hit our top. Good thing I flipped it because otherwise it would have been those middle legs. Maybe I should have kept the bar stool arrangement and then we would have, you know, managed to win a bit more. But we hit that top table, so I'm going to flip it again. I'm going to go these outside legs because I feel like, you know, we've hit the middle a couple times. And we're going to go again. And hopefully... And... Ah! Of course, I knew I should have stayed on those middle legs. It's always the ones that you think you should do that you don't do. But I'm going to go outside now because we've had middle so many times. We can't, we can't keep hitting the middle, surely. The odds of that are tiny. Now, that's, that's not to confuse this with the gambler's fallacy. Yes, there we go. Okay, let's keep going. So there, as I was saying, that's not to confuse it with the gambler's fallacy. The chances of anyone hitting after you've hit it once is actually the same odds. Like, we, we can't be confused about that. Like, that's, that's how probability works is, you know, even if it's heads a thousand times in a row, the odds of getting a heads next are 50-50. We hit the table there, so I'm going to flip it back over. And hopefully, a top table is going to be the answer to us making a lot of money. So I'm down 100 bucks at the moment, but that's okay because we only need a couple hits, boom, a couple legs to walk away a winner. So there we go. We're going to do that. We're going to st keep the table on top. We're going to go again. So it's, it's really up to you if you want to start moving the legs around and, you know, moving to different corners. Or if you feel like you're going to be lucky, then just stick to it. So you can see now we were down 100 bucks, but with just two wins, we've already managed to come back up to $20 profit. So I'm going to just keep doing this outside table legs and we're going to go again. So there's a couple other things that you can do to sort of improve your odds. Yes, there we go. That's what we need. Now we're up 50 bucks. But um, one of those things is it, it depends on where you're going to play. So this this applies to online casinos. It applies to real, real in-person casinos. It applies everywhere. But the thing that you've got to pay attention to is whether or not it's a European wheel or an American wheel. Because if you've got an American wheel and you've got two zeros, the chances of you coming up to a zero and losing everything is twice as much. So no matter what, you should generally try and find a European wheel to play on. That's why I like online casinos because then I can choose to have a European wheel always, whereas the one at my local casino only has a European wheel in the high roller room. And unless I want to be playing thousands of dollars per hand, I don't think I'm going to be going to the high roller room. So here we go. We're going to go again. We've hit that top of the table. So now we're going to go and flip it again and hope for the best. And we hit the tabletop. That's okay. We'll flip him back over. Come on. Come on. Just one more win and I'll, I can walk away a happy winner, I think. Boom. There we go. So that's, this is how the system works. Now you do have to be careful of if there are zeros because like, so this is a good example. If I were playing this in an in-person casino and I had done, you know, this amount of spins and hadn't seen the zero come up yet, I would make sure that I now at this point probably walk away, go grab a drink, go, you know, play on the slot machines for 10, 15 minutes and just wait until those zeros come out, the averages reset so that next time when I come and play, hopefully it means that I'm less due for a zero. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something, then please, you know, chuck me a subscribe, a like. It really is quite nice seeing all these comments come in from you guys saying that, you know, you've learned something or that this system's helped you to win a couple bucks. You know, that's, that's, that's why I do it, so that you guys can play more intelligently when you go to the casinos. I don't necessarily recommend you know, one specific casino, I can, I can only talk and vouch for BitStars and 7-Bit because they're the only ones I've played on. Um, and I'm not going to try and, you know, send you guys somewhere else where I, I don't know what they're like, what the cash out policies or what the wager requirements or anything are. So if you are looking for an online casino, um, you can check out some of the links. But like I said, just go with one that makes you feel comfortable, whether that's online, whether that's in person, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, the odds for this game don't change. I hope you enjoyed guys and if you did you should check out my Facebooks and my Instagram that's where I post a lot of my other more you know less YouTube-y and more personal stuff um, but other than that have a good day guys and hopefully you make some money. Cheers.